Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My goodness, it's been a long time. <laughs> you find me in a, what was a second ago, sunny garden. Um, so I thought today we will have a look around. Um, I'll show you the gardens and what spaces and what my plans are. Um, and so let's get to it. So I've got my trusty cup of coffee and I'll have show you around the garden. So as you know, um, about eight weeks ago, we moved house. Um, we've moved in with Eric's mum um, and so we are amalgamating two houses together. Um, as you can imagine, it's not without its challenges, um, but also has some blessings along the way. So um, I had to leave my garden. I was so gutted. I got to bring some of it with me, but I did have to leave the majority of my garden. Um, so let's have a look at what we're working with here. So as we step out the back door, we've got a big patio area. We've got the conservatory on the left hand side. Then at the back there, there's some bushes that Nana loves. So we're in the process of trimming those down. Um, they're a bit prickly, so they need a good haircut. Um, so that bit is kind of Nana's bit over there. Um, I've brought me pots with me. So on the right hand side there, the little pot there is a pot of strawberries that we gave Nana a while ago. <laughs> but we ended up bringing our strawberries as well. This here is my raspberry bush. It's done so well. It's at the back end. I've got about four or five left on it now. They are the most delicious raspberries ever. They're called Patio Princess, I believe. No thorns, no anything. They're lovely, sweet and delicious. I went and bought myself some mint because I can't do without me mint and me lemon balm. So I've got Moroccan mint on the right and lemon balm on the left. I believe no other way around that's that's the Moroccan mint that's the lemon balm um we've got our table and chairs with a fire pit um obviously we've got a lot of work to do and the weather has not been cooperating this is the first day without rain in about five months I'm not joking um so these were my blueberries that I brought with me from the old house um and these are stunning so we've got three types can't remember the names but they are three different um seasons so we've got an early season a mid season and a late season so this is the first one that's been maturing that's the first one in the season this i believe is the second one in the season a bit smaller but lots of nice big thick berries on it and this one at the end here is um, the last one to develop. All the berries are very tiny, just come out from the uh, blossoms there. Uh, we, As I say, we've got a lot of tidying up to do, but we're all right. Um, next up is my strawberries. These all came, there's two more pots out the front as well. These all came with me from the old house. I dug them up. You saw that video, I think. I dug them up and I brought them with me. I've got half a plan of what I'm going to do with them but this year they still all fruited they were the most delicious strawberries ever they're called marshmallow variety and heck they are sweet they're gorgeous um this is a fire pit covered up I went and bought some lavender as well because I really wanted some lavender I want to build my herb collection up this year um this is a red currant I believe is that the red yeah that's done absolutely nothing all gnarly um I'm hit or miss of whether I think it's going to have to go this is the work in progress area. <laughs> so the pe the pear tree, it was here. This was uh, my mother-in-law's tree. And she said it's been hit and miss for a couple of years now. We've got one single solitary pear on it just there. Um, but it, it's got one big branch that's dead. However, if we look up into next door's garden, and we do have permission to harvest this stunning apple tree, I don't know if you can see those, I don't know if it's focusing, but this is absolutely laden with apples. It's stunning, and there's one out the front as well. Um, so this will be our little, we're going to make a little patio area, not patio, decking area here for the barbecue and some pots. I'm probably going to cover it over. We've got to extend the fence as well. Um, this is Nana's little area. She's, these are very sentimental trees to her. This was um, a holly that her dad gave her. I'm a bit close, Anna. Holly that her dad gave her. Um, and so she wants to start taking care of and just cutting back. And then this is, does anyone know what this is? Because it's the prickliest bush ever. And I've tried to, to cut it down, but it keeps jabbing me. <laughs> and then there's a little volunteer plant there. I think that may be... Um, an ash from next door so we'll have a look we've got the shed this is let me show you hang on put my coffee down giving you the proper garden tour look hang on this is my pantry so it's full of lots of things at the minute we've got all my stacks of um 
essentials. We've got all my jars over there. there. <laughs> um, this is just for all bits and bobs and some garden stuff in the bottom, as well as all my uh, flour and all my sugar and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we're hoping to get a bigger shed at some point because there is some room just down the back there um, and get a bigger shed. And what we'll do then is we'll combine that into a... Um, We'll try and get some heating and cooling into it and we'll try and get that into a, a proper actual pantry shed. One side for gardens, the other side for, you know, um, pantry stuff, uh, storage, seconds, you know, extras. Um, and hopefully, because at the moment we've got our freezer in the conservatory, but I'm really hoping... That if we can get some electric out to it, get a big enough one, um, it could be an eight foot by six foot shed. There, that this is only a three by four, I think. This one, three by four foot, um, an eight foot by six foot shed in there, easy. That will give me a chance to hopefully, if we can get some electric out the back. So, there's the shed, there's the conservatory, there's a socket just down here. So, we may be able to get an outside socket and get that to the um, to the shed. And I can just feel the drops of rain. <laughs> It's not stopped for weeks. Um, however, if we can get that sorted, that will be a real, real space saver. Um, get that in with the uh, freezer in there and the pantry and all my uh, garden stuff, because a lot of it's still down the lockup because we haven't got space for it here. Um, we've got a front garden that's a really decent size, but that's more my mother-in-law's kind of domain <laughs> and we are more this back one so let me show you my plan so if you can see we've got a giant great big bed there so we're going to have a decking into here but this bed is doing nothing at the moment i've obviously got my pots on it but what my plan is is to, to, to dig all of this up this is just some shale with some um compost all underneath i might sieve it even and use it again but all of this the, look at the size of this it's about a four meter all together oh blurring sorry take it all the way to the end to those pots just over there that's over four meters of bed now it's an, a long narrow one but my goodness i could grow some food in there i was panicking because i didn't know if i'd be able to grow food but look at this so that's my plan is to just grow some what i can where i can i've got containers i've got some room outside in the front where i could put some more containers um without encroaching on my mother-in-law's side of the garden you know garden ideas um but she's very kindly given us this big bed so you know i can grow all sorts in here i have also been humming and harring um, I've got my metal beds, if you remember those, I've got a couple of sage green ones, the big ribbed, the, uh, the Vigo beds in Vigo beds in America, similar here. I've got one silver one and one and two um, sagey green coloured. And what I might do is just set them up here because you can link them all together. So instead of we were going to build something, but the cost of wood at the moment is extortionate. Um, we've got some wood for the fence in there, but... Uh, Wood's expensive. Um, but I've got those metal beds, so I may be able to dig this out flat and put the metal beds in and plant into those and link them all together so they're not separate beds. They're one big, long metal bed. But I'll have to see if they're the same size because they're different brands. Mm, two of them are one brand and one of them's another brand, so they might not be the same size. But, hey, if we can make it work without spending any money, I'm all for that. So, yeah, just a quick catch-up for you. Um, I know it's been a long time. I've really been trying to settle in and get my head around the move. Um, as you do, you get busy and just getting cracking on. And then when you're actually in and settle, everything hits you. And, you know, it's it's not been without its challenges, trying to merge two houses. My mother-in-law's lived here for 40 years. Um, and so has a very set way of how she wants things to go in the house. And, you know, it's been treading very carefully and not they're not wanting to upset us us not wanting to upset her you know it's it's but it's working well excuse me um it's working well so far so i'm a lot happier now i can get my mind onto garden things now the house is settled and we're all settled upstairs in the bedrooms and things and kind of mainly how we want it upstairs and the kitchen's functioning well, we're sharing a kitchen and I've gone from a really quite big kitchen, if you saw my old kitchen in the old house, um, quite a big kitchen into a tiny, tiny kitchen, which isn't a problem, but I'm also sharing that kitchen. <laughs> so not all of the cupboards are mine or some of the shelves are mine and some of them aren't. Um, it's not easy, but then these things are sent to refine us, aren't they? 
you know it's about being kind and it's about being patient and that's things that all of us need to work on so I'm looking at it as a as a blessing that it's making me work a bit harder and not having my own way all the time that's not a bad thing you know so yeah I think we'll get there and I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee enjoy a little bit of the sunshine that's now peeking out as I sit and plan my garden I hope you have a great day take care see you soon